Hello, I'm Karma and I'm here in one of the collection spaces of the Natural History Museum. I'm here with museum scientist Sophie Ryan and she's been telling us about crab eater seal tea. If you've not checked out that video yet, go and check it out. Um, but we have some more specimens here. So Sophie, could you tell us a little bit more about these tea? Yeah, so right here we've got the uh, crab eater seal. So you can really see uh, the very kind of intricate kind of complex multi-cusp teeth there mm -hmm. uh, that they use as kind of an interlocking sieve so that when they're taking in water filled with krill and then they're expelling all of that water the krill can stay uh, inside the mouth cavity there oh. um, so yeah so you can see that a bit more clearly on this one yeah. but actually this isn't the only species that filter feeds we also have the leopard seal here mm -hmm. and you can see kind of similarities between those two types of teeth so you can wow, see the yeah multi-cusps as well, they've got, they've got three um, cusps on, on their teeth and actually the uh, leopard seal only filter feeds with its back teeth there. Those sort of uh, front, front canines are used for uh, feeding on larger prey, so things like penguins and obviously wow. they can't filter feed penguins so they kind of use yeah. raptorial um, behaviour to, to feed on those. So those are the R2 uh, filter feeders. Over here, we've got some more tree seal species as well, um, but these are all using different kinds of feeding strategies. So here we've got uh, one of our elephant seal species, and you can see uh, on the mandible that their teeth are markedly different. Oh, so, wow, yeah, they're a lot more blunt. A lot blunter and a lot more sort of conical, and that will be, this, this species uses suction feeding, so it sucks all of the prey into its mouth. Um, it can be like things like fish, or it can be even, even larger species like squid and things like that. Um, but that kind of water constantly moving in between the teeth has really blunted that down there. And we can kind of see a similar thing in this uh, juvenile elephant seal species. It's a different uh, species of elephant seal. But yeah, you can still see even at this young age. Yeah, the, wow. Uh, kind of blunt teeth that it's got there. Um, now, other than uh, suction feeding and filter feeding, seals can also feed raptorially. So obviously it's like similar to the way that the uh, leopard seal feeds on penguins. So biting with its teeth. We've got two of those species here. So this is the Weddell seal. And you, these teeth are actually used uh, for kind of biting its prey. And you can see it's maybe a bit sharper. Um, and this spotted seal here also uses uh, raptorial feeding. But of course, this, these teeth also have that kind of multicusp shape. Um, but they're a lot sharper uh, than what we would have in the filter feeding seal. Um, and it's not used for filter feeding. So that's what we have here today. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so I remember in the video earlier, you were saying about how it's similar to the baleen in Wales and how they feed. Uh, so are they made of the same sort of thing or? Yeah. No, so the, actually uh, in baleen Wales, baleen is actually a keratinous material. So it's a sort of comb-like uh, keratin. Uh, yeah, so keratin. what else does keratin make? Uh, so we'd find it in our fingernails, in our hair, right. so it's that sort of material, whereas obviously these are using uh, their teeth to filter feed. Mm -hmm. um, and actually the ancestors to baleen whales would have had teeth, or we've, we know they have teeth, um, and the teeth are actually multi-cusps, and they look in somewhat comparable to what we see in our filter feeding seals, and what we see in our multi-cusp <coughs> seals with those multi-cusp uh, back teeth. Um, so you know, it's a question as to whether those teeth that they had millions and millions of years ago were used in a similar way to what we see in the crab eater seal, or um, which acted as a sort of prerequisite to filter feeding that they then used for uh, used used baleen for, yeah. um, or whether they lost those teeth uh, due to due to suction feeding and then evolved baleen. That was so interesting. Thank you so much for telling us all about these seals. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. And to make sure you don't miss out on any more content from the Natural History Museum, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification.